Here in the Ural Mountains, Pavel Smolin takes tourists on dog sled rides through the forest. But even here in Russia's heartland, one hears mixed feelings about Vladimir Putin's 12-year-long rule of Russia. Everything is okay with us, but, for example, I'll start getting my pension in a year, and pensions aren't very big, so I'll have to keep working with my dogs, but at least it's good for my health. Nearby, the regional capital of Yekaterinburg was the only big city where Prime Minister Putin's ruling United Russia party lost in December's parliamentary elections. Georgi Persky represents Fair Russia, the opposition party that won here in December. He says Russia's new independent political thinking is not limited to Moscow. People in mass numbers stop trusting the ruling party. Here, I'll emphasize again, people are freedom-loving, freedom-thinking, and depend less on administrative resources. Even though the opposition won here, there have been three protests which participants posted on YouTube. People are angry about what they say was widespread fraud across Russia. Leonid Volkov, an independent member of the city council, says there will be a fourth protest on Saturday, February 4. We won in fair elections. We beat United Russia in an unequal fight. But that was stolen from us by election fraud in Moscow, Tatarstan, Mordovia, Chechnya, Dagestan, Kemerov, and other regions where people long ago forgot about fair elections and a culture of political competition. But Volkov and others stress they want reform, not revolution. Meanwhile, a state company has posted pro-Putin billboards with the slogan, For a Stable Tomorrow, near Yekaterinburg's Church on the Blood, a church built on the exact spot where a Bolshevik firing squad shot Tsar Nicholas II and his family to death in 1918. Mr. Putin will face the voters in presidential elections on March 4. And regional vice governor Anatoly Gredin says the important themes are stability and continuity. The most important slogan for any president is for a stable society and for further development in Russia. That's it. Other parties have programs that call for change or nationalization. It's a 180-degree turn, but now is not the time to turn back. Stability was a slogan of a pro-government rally held Saturday in front of the city's railroad station. Critics say that factory owners sent workers here to help the Kremlin meet its real goal, providing pictures of working-class support. Reporters who covered the rally said many participants were bussed into the city and were lukewarm in their support for Mr. Putin. Reporters said part of the deal was a stop at a shopping mall. City Council member Volkov says the Kremlin hopes voters watching state television ahead of the election will think Mr. Putin has strong working class support in the nation's industrial heartland in faraway Yekaterinburg. James Brook, VOA News, Yekaterinburg, Russia.